if you took a look at the last review video that I did on the O scale Rail King SD45 great northern hustle muscle locomotive if you've actually sat through I believe it was a full 25 minutes of that video that you would have seen toward the end of that video that I had this train set make a quick stop in that video as well and one of the reasons why I had that happen was to pretty much just give like a sample or somewhat of an appetizer of what people can expect as far as one of the next reviews coming up in the near future and I'll most likely be doing that in other review videos that I'll be making in the future if I have other train sets that I want to display that I haven't displayed yet I'll probably just have them briefly make a quick appearance in videos where I'm doing reviews and showing the uh, the train that I'm reviewing and doing a run out a run around through the layout but anyhow what you're looking at here is a Caltrain set and this is a premier line and I actually picked this up sometime back in August I believe of 2013 so I've had it for quite a while I just haven't had the time to sit down and do a review on it and I figured I might as well get active again on this channel so I figured what, what what's better than the post a review of this video here now this here comes with four uh, passenger cars three coaches and a cab car and an engine that came separately now the engine that you're looking at is an F40 PH locomotive now the one thing I will notice is that um, I have not seen very many reviews on this set here in O scale I've seen plenty of them in A show but maybe about one or two that I've seen in O scale I believe Lionel made a few of them uh, MTH makes them I don't know if they're a very popular item and this is actually a rare item and I was actually very pleased to be able to get this I don't know why they are they're so scarce or whatever the case because it's a very attractive looking set to have but be it that it may I'm lucky to have one on my layout now one thing that also that I find very attractive about this train set or the, the uh, cars in itself is that they're by level cars and they also come uh, it comes with a cab car now if you looked at other review videos that I've done in the past I've done a review video on an NJ Transit set that has multi-level cars but it doesn't come with a cab car this one does so now with that being said I'll turn the light on and we can get into the detail of this engine okay pretty much what we have here is your main operating headlights uh, oscillating ditch lights your marker lights, lit number boards, windshield wipers, your uh, metal handrails or whatever the case, I think sand caps, and then you have uh, an attachable plow that you have to manually attach once you unpackage the engine out of the box. And it's pretty simple, you just remove the uh, engine out of the box, you take the plow out of its plastic wrapping, and you take the two screws and you screw the uh, plow into the locomotive itself behind that you do have some air hoses I know some people have taken the air hoses and have actually looped them through over here um, you also have your steps that come with a lot of detail you have your trucks that come with two axles and four operating wheels on each side also you have your fuel tank which comes very detailed and anybody who runs old scale trains pretty much knows that the fuel tank is also where the speaker is located at and then you have a bunch of other detail and I'm not too sure what every component is on this engine so I can't really get into all the specs of it but then you have this uh, platform that has the ridges on it I guess this is to prevent people from slipping when they get on, on rainy days or whatever the case so that's a pretty decent effect also and then you have see-through vents Operating fan, uh, uh, not operating, movable fan blades, a smoke unit, your horn, and then on top of here, I believe that this is a modification that they've done with these F40s, and I believe that this is an air conditioning unit because 
and the the older locomotives didn't come with air conditioning so they put this or this is a separate installation so the operators could have AC inside of it so they don't I guess overheat also you have your cab figures one on each side I'll see if you can a look at the guy on the other side there And then on top of here, what you have is your control box, which once again, you have the movable fan blades inside of that. And then you have your controls here. So pretty much what you have is operation for three rail to two rail, which I'm currently running three. So I'm gonna keep it there. I have the DCS control and the DCC, which I'm currently running DCS. And then you have your volume for your engine sound effects, horn, bell, uh, whistle, or whatever else other sound effects it comes with. And then you have the manual control for the smoke. Now in this case, I don't need to even take this off to operate it because I have the DCS system so I can control everything that I need to control from the uh, remote controller itself. Also, if you look at the back, you see... Uh, which is marker lights for the back and the reverse operating headlight. Also, one thing I notice about these F40 locomotives is that they, these doors open up in the back here. You have another one that opens up here, right here, and, on, and directly on the opposite side. Here you have your passenger cars. These are one of the coaches. Uh, as you can see, they come with lights inside of them, and they also come with figures that actually sit down you have seating, you have tables. Uh, I think a few of the uh, figures are actually standing up. And the one thing that I will say is that if you turn the lights out and run this uh, or light this passenger car setup, it lights up the room pretty bright. So it's actually a decent little effect. And then you have these manually, these doors that you manually can open and close. a little oil on that and back here you have your cab car it comes with uh operating ditch lights your main headlight your marker lights it has windshield wipers lit up number boards um also if you get a closer look here you can see the the figure the operator that's inside of this cab car i don't know how good of a look you can get at that And then inside of this door here, you have a switch. Now what this switch here does, is it is to manually switch the, uh, from the main headlights and dish lights to the reverse marker lights. And what I'll do is I'll show you the effect. You pretty much gotta reach your finger in there and let me actually cut the light off so you can see the effect of it. It actually does three functions. One function is to put on the main headlights and the ditch lights. The other one is for the marker lights. And then another function is pretty much to have the ditch lights oscillate. Now, if you take a look at it, this is very prototypical, and I believe that pretty much any railroad has it where the ditch lights don't just flash on and off. It pretty much fades in and out. You pretty much got that effect when you're looking at these ditch lights here. So three different functions, one's to have the uh, main operating headlights constantly on along with the dish lights remaining on. The next one is for to have oscillating dish lights along with the main headlight. And after that is just your reverse lights. Now the one thing I will say about this, uh, these F40 PH locomotives, because I have another one added to my layout. If anyone has watched any previous videos I've done in the past, a couple years back, you know that I have another one that I've ran on this set as well. I will say that the sound file doesn't sound very accurate as far as the um, engine sounds are concerned. I really can't relate the sound file to any engine that I've actually seen or whether it be on YouTube or whether it be face to face. Uh, I most likely will be swapping out the sound file as soon as I can find something that I feel at least sounds appropriate enough to run for this engine. 
But what I will do is I will run this, and I believe that these engines sound similar to a GP40. Uh, New Jersey Transit runs them, uh, the Connecticut Department of uh, Transportation runs them. And these engines more or less sound like that, or might even sound exactly like that. I'm not exactly sure because, once again, I'm not a locomotive guru, so I'm just going off of what I hear. But what I will do is I will fire this engine up, and of course, what I'm normally going to do is I'm going to go through the sound effects of the bell, the horn, and then I'll let people listen to the engine, and I'll go from level one to notch eight, and then I'll bring it back down. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, what I'll do is I'll briefly run it around the layout so you can see its performance. Just to let people uh, give a quick, uh, quick little heads up. From the last review video that I did where I had this train set actually do a brief pass by, if you listen to it, the train cars were actually pretty squeaky. And since then, I've tuned everything up. I put a little oil on the, uh, on the axles and on the wheels, so that problem should be taken care of now. But anyway, I'll go ahead and I'll roll it around the layout, fire it back up again, and let you take a look at its performance for yourself.